Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I pray that you guys be able to join me on today's uh, segment of the Tuesday Talk with T. Uh, hope you're having a great Tuesday. This is a cloudy Tuesday, it's a little cool here, uh, but this is October 31st, 2023. And uh, we're just grateful to God that he allowed us once again to be able to see another day, uh, another blessed day that he has granted us. Uh, with new mercies uh thank you always once again for you uh, guys tuning in and joining in with us and praying for devoted to him uh it's it's been a great it's been a great ride a ride for this year uh we uh have really done some great things uh, my husband and i uh it, it's just been wonderful and and i'm looking forward to 2024 uh when it comes and god has opened up new doors and new things uh for us i'm excited and looking forward to that uh, there'll be some changes you'll probably see. Uh, hey, Tom, uh, be some changes that you'll probably see. Um, I, um, I'm going to actually start another, uh, uh, Facebook page with just Tuesday talk, uh, on that page. And I'm going to talk with my hubby and see if he wants to do the same thing with Bible study moment. Uh, but we're just grateful to God, uh, that he's going to, uh, it, it, uh, and broaden and enlighten us and, and just do some things uh, that is going to blow our minds. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, now, uh, next Tuesday, I'm not sure if I'm going to do Tuesday talk because that's election day. And I know my husband, he's a, a poll uh, worker. So I know he'll be gone all day Tuesday. That is election day. Do get out and vote. Uh, uh, that This is just a local election. So please, please, for those who have to vote for school uh committee school councils uh council persons or whatever your area is voting for please 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 do exercise your right to vote and uh so i'm not sure if i'm going to be doing tuesday talk i may uh forego that so that uh nobody would feel obligated to stop at the moment to listen in and then plus it give me a chance to go out to vote myself uh but today's topic today's topic is um uh, when you can't feel god's presence when you can't feel God's presence. This is going to be an interesting topic because I think some of you may think I'm going a different route, a, a particular route with this topic, but we're going to talk about it. Uh, when you can't feel God's presence. And the encouraging word for the week is found in Psalm 145, 18. Psalm 145, verse 18. It says, The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. The Lord is is near to all who call on him to call to uh, all who call on him in truth that is psalm 145 and verse 18 okay so let's just get started topic again is uh when you can't feel god's presence and and if you can't feel god's presence it's nothing to be worried about Did you listen to me real good there's nothing to be worried about when you can if you can't feel his presence the feeling of god's presence is not what we seek instead we seek the person of jesus christ and his presence will visit us physically from time to time you know his you know we'll begin to feel god in in certain certain times certain moments but uh as far as uh when people say they feel god's presence all of the time no <laughs> so but we're going to talk about it uh, but and however if 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 we pray and seek god daily if we pray and seek god daily we shouldn't get discouraged or hesitant uh if we don't feel him uh if we do this we will struggle with our walk with god until we realize that we seek him to know him not feel him okay but you to get that you know we we seek god to know him not feel him okay let me we're going we're going to talk about it. we're going to discuss it okay what we have to realize is that god is pleased by faith because the bible makes it clear that without faith it is impossible to please god that's what hebrews 11 uh verse uh, 6 says uh hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 and most of the time most of the time faith is in direct opposition of our senses and feelings and this is why the bible defines faith as the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen it's hebrews 11 and 1 uh notice that wording faith is the evidence of things not seen 
Okay, that's where our faith comes from. You know, we 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 uh, uh we walk by our faith. We 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 have our faith. We depend on our faith. And once again, when I said mentioned by Hebrews eleven and six, uh, without faith, it's impossible to please our God. So we have to have faith in order to please Him. That's what the Word says. You know, we we can't please God without our faith. Okay, so. Uh, when we say faith is the evidence of things not seen, that means that, uh, you know, our, our senses have nothing to do with our faith. Okay? So, we do what we do to obey Him, to obey God, and know Him more intimately. Okay? Uh, and if we end up feeling His presence in the process, praise God. Yes. Yeah. But it is not something we live by. Okay? I want you to follow me now. But it is important to mention that if we are not taking the time to pray and to read his word, then, of course, we are not going to feel his presence. That's a, that's a must. That's the way you can feel the presence of God. If you're not studying his word, if you're not spending intimate time with him, if you're not med meditating on his word, if, if, if you don't uh, talk to him on a daily basis, if, 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 we, if you're not doing any of that, how can you expect to feel a person that you don't ever spend time with. Okay? So we can't expect God to give us a feeling of his person when we aren't valuing him enough to spend time with him. Okay? So so what are some reasons why you, 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 you're not feeling God's presence when you are spending a time to seek him daily? Okay? And to be honest, okay, I have no idea. And I'm pretty sure no one else knows either. Okay, and, and if, if you meet someone who claims that they know, their reason is most likely not biblical. They're just coming up with something. Because the Bible never tells us that we are supposed to feel God. Instead, it tells us to live by faith. Okay, none of us has ever seen God, but we believe who he is. Why do we believe who he is? Because he's done so much for us and we've seen evidence of what he's able to do. We do, and why do we, we see the evidence of things that we know he's able to do and we recognize that he's the one that did? Because we live by faith. We have faith enough knowing that he is the one that has brought us through some things, that have taken care of us, that have saved us, that have kept us from hell, that have, have, have sent his whole self around us to protect us each day, to care for us each day. We know this by faith. Okay? And there are seasons when, when every time... Uh, I pray, I'm talking about me, when I pray, I can feel God noticeably. And then there are times when I may not feel him for a while. That may be no change in my prayer life. You know, there's no change in the way I pray and talk to him, but I simply just don't feel God. Okay? But here's the, here's the good part. Here's the good part. What does that change? It's changed absolutely nothing. I still trust God. I still trust God. God still promised to be with me always, as Hebrew 13 and 5 teaches us. God still promised to be with me always. And he has already told me that his spirit will dwell on the inside of me. So no matter what I may feel, he is with me. It's not according to my feelings. I know by faith that he is with me. How Confident is that to me. That's very confident to me, because I recognize who he is in my life. So, 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 in uh, you know, in other words, in short of, of this, uh, if you are consistently spending time with God on a daily basis, and you are not feeling His presence, there's nothing for you to worry about. Just keep seeking Him, and continue to live by faith. Know that He is always with us, especially when you are spending the proper time. With him. You're going through your meditation. You're reading your word. You're praying daily. You're seeking after him. All of these things that God teaches us in his word. But if you're going through life and not consistently spending time with God. Listen. Then you are not going to feel his presence. At all. Because you are not valuing him as you should. So you know sometimes you know you find people uh, uh, in your walk of life. And you begin to wonder, with, okay, I, I talked to God and, and he, he never comes to my rescue. And okay, and a lot of times you want to look and say, okay, how much time are you spending with him? 
How, I mean, are, are you actually spending, you know, it's like one of those people that say, okay, um, I, I stopped going to church because I'm not getting anything out of church. Okay, when you were, when you were going to church, what were you doing? Were you engaged in the word of God coming from the vessel of God? Were you going to a Bible study uh, moment? Were you going to Sunday school? Were you going to these certain things to help build you up to get to know God? And if their answers are no, then, you know, my conversation with them is, why are we even discussing it then? Because you're not even spending quality time to get to know God. Let alone want to feel his presence. You know, so you have to look at that. You have to, you have to look at that. So, so what do we do when you don't feel God's presence? I'm going to give you like three simple tips. I'll give you three simple tips. Uh, now, that, now that I've covered the why uh, behind feeling God's presence and what that really means, uh, I want to cover the practical side, okay? Well, the first one, stand on God's word and not your feelings. See, our feelings change. But the word of God remains the same. So stand on God's word and not your feelings. Okay? And the first tip is to separate your feelings from God's word and realize that they are not always aligned and then choose to stand on God's word. Our feelings going to change. How do I know that? That's sometimes, I, you know, we may get to a point we don't even feel like reading the word of God. Okay, so I, I, I feel, you know, I might be tired, I may be sick, so my feelings, is, it's going to flip-flop, but the Word of God is going to remain the same. Okay, so stand on God's Word and not your feelings, that's the first one. Okay, and if we believe, okay, let me go, let me back up. The Bible consistently gives us promises that God, that Jesus will always be with us. Uh, and and that his spirit lives on the inside of us and that the Holy Spirit helps us when we pray. You know, all of these things that you can look at the scriptures, uh, Hebrews 13 and 5 and 1 Corinthians 13 and 16. Uh, those are scriptures, even Romans chapter 8, uh, uh, verses 26 through 27. All these things, you know, God promised us in his word when we spend that time with him, okay, in his word. And if we believe that these promises and, and choose to stand on the words of God, then it, my thing is, if we lack our feelings, we'll cease to be concerned about whether or not God is going to be present with us because we rely on what we read. His word will always be true. He stands by his word. He stands by his word. Okay, so... You know, so change, change your feelings. You know, it's not about how we feel. Okay. Number two, the second one is understand that feelings is not a promise of Jesus being present. Feelings, your feelings is not a promise of Jesus being present. Okay. And the second tip is that feeling God's present is not a promise of Jesus or his spirit being present with us. And, and this is very important that we understand this. We 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 really need to understand that it's 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 not it's not a a promise. It's not a promise of Jesus being present. We receive a promise that God is with us and hear us through His Word. We don't have this promise through our feelings. Okay. So feelings may give us an assurance of what we are promised, but it is it cannot be the promise itself. In fact, God never promised that we would feel him being present. He only promised that he would be. Y'all get that? You know, he, he never promised that we would feel him being present. He only promised that he would be present. And we're going to go through that in a minute. Uh, number three, continue to seek God through prayer and his word. And this third tip is simply continue to seek God through prayer and his word. And don't let lack of feeling God get in the way of the promise that God made to you and me. Since some people, they, they move God out the way when they don't feel him. They get upset with God because I, I, can't, I didn't feel you today, God. That means you're not hearing me. You're not listening to me. So I, I don't know what else to do. We can't, we can't think like that. We must remember that we are called to live by faith and not our feelings. Okay? And if we choose to continue to pray and read his word, in spite of what we may feel or the lack thereof, 
That is called faith. Because we are choosing to believe and act on God's word and not getting discouraged by our feelings. I, I need y'all to hear me real good. Once again, we're going to talk again. It's important to note that feeling God is not a requirement for God pres being present. If we don't feel him as we are praying or worshiping, that doesn't mean that he isn't there. It just means that we are feeling him at that moment. Okay, but God is, is just as present when we feel him as when we don't. I say that again. God is just as present when we feel him as he is when we don't feel him. He tells us that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Okay, so the only difference in what we may feel like he's closer, but our feelings are inaccurate. The Bible says that that he is a as close to us as the mention of his name. Anybody call on him today? How many times you call on him today? Because I trust him. I trust him and I, and I believe him to be with me. Why do I believe it? Because I have faith. In him knowing that he would never leave me nor forsake me. My faith tells me that. Not my feelings. My faith tells me that. Okay. That's why we pray in the name of Jesus. Every time we pray. We end our prayers. It is in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Because we trust him. Okay, so 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 God's presence is nothing more than the spirit of God being present where we are. So when we feel his presence, we are simply feeling God being present because there are times we will feel his presence. Hello. Yes, there are times we will feel his presence. And the Bible reveals that God the father is in heaven and that after Jesus rose from the grave, he went to be at the father's right hand and that the Holy Spirit is the one on the earth. The Holy Spirit, our comforter, our guide, is, is with us now. So from all this, we can come to the conclusion that the Holy Spirit is the presence of God on the earth in our days and age. Yeah, we, we, we rely on the Holy Spirit now because that's the promise. When Jesus went back up to sit at the right hand of the Father, he sent the comforter, the Holy Spirit. Okay? So, so the Bible says that we have access to God through Christ by his Spirit. Ephesians 2 and 18. And the Bible also says that his spirit lives on the inside of us. 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, also 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. And that we are actually being built up to be a dwelling place of God in the spirit. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 22. So, so, so this kind of language that the Bible uses make it sound like God is very close and that we can know him no matter what we feel. Once again, it ain't got nothing to do with our feelings. It's our faith. Okay. So for those who need to know more of how to feel God's presence, uh, let me help you out. Feeling God's presence is something God does as we seek him. We cannot cause God to make us feel him. God would not push himself on you. Once again, feeling God's presence is something God does as we seek him. Okay, uh, we cannot cause God to make us feel him, experiencing him through feeling is something that we choose to do while we are seeking him in faith. Experiencing him through our feelings is something that we choose to do while we are seeking him in faith. We seek God daily. So while I'm seeking God, yes, I want his presence to be in the midst of me. I, I, want, to, I want to feel him hold me. And there are times when that happens because I'm seeking him in faith. When I pray to God, I thank him before I get through my prayer. God, I already thank you because I know what I pray for is going to manifest. Why? Because I trust you in faith. You did it for me back then. You will continue to do it for me now. I'm not going to uh, knock, knock my faith down. And sometimes my faith might take a hit. But I know for sure that by faith, I got to please you. And I got to trust you. With my Faith is all I have. Faith is all I have. So, so our relationship with him is not transactional. 
and it's not. And I started to, to, to pray so God's manifest presence, his manifest will be present and it will come when I pray. I pray that he comes and sit and reside with me. I pray for that. And for those of you that may be listening on podcasts, I think it just uh, uh, it just stopped because someone was trying to call in. So that stops the, the podcast. So make sure you, you view the rest of it on Facebook Live. So I apologize for the podcast viewers or listeners. But uh, God is present. He is present when we mention his name because he promised he would be through his word, not because we felt it. <laughs> I need to say that again. God, Jesus is present when we mention his name. When I call on the name of Jesus, I don't know how you all feel, but I feel him when I call his name. As we sing that song, there's something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Oh, oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. See, when I call his name, I will begin to feel his presence. I, I that, you know, I, 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 just a mention of his name. And his promises that I know and I recognize through his word. Not so much that it's my feelings. It's because I recognize who he is. And feeling God doesn't validate God's word. Believing God in is what causes his word to work in our life. Once again, feeling God, feeling God doesn't validate his word. It's believing God is what causes his word to work in our lives. Not feeling him. But believe in him. Okay. And, and, and you see that the, the truth is the Bible consistently tells us that we are not to live by our senses, but by faith. Okay. What, what we say, second Corinthians five and seven, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Okay, let me say that again by Hebrews 11 and one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Okay, and did you notice how how Paul uh, in both verses compared the senses with faith? He uses them in direct opposition to one another. Okay, so so if if, if we are seeing or feeling something, we don't need faith that is there, right? Mm hmm. Uh, the, the the belief that the object is there is automatic because we are physically experiencing it. We can see, but on the other hand, the Bible tells us that we need faith if we are to go on, if we're going to see God. That's what the Bible says. We need faith if we're going to continue to see God. None of us have ever seen God. We believe who He is, like I said earlier. Okay, I'm I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Hebrews eleven one six. Once again. But without faith, it is impossible to believe to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. And that he is a reward of those who diligently seek him. That's Hebrews 11 and 6. So, so why would the Bible instruct us to believe that he is? If we feel him every time we pray, every time we worship, or every time we read our Bible, uh, the answer is it wouldn't. Because this passage reveals that faith and diligence comes first. Then the reward takes place afterwards. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. <laughs> For he who comes to God must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder. Of those who diligently seek him. Okay? Faith and diligence comes first. And the reward takes place afterwards. Okay? So, so let me be clear. Let me be clear. I'm not against feeling God's presence. I love experiencing God's presence. Yes, I do. But I am against someone trying to live by the feelings. And as a result, as a result they start doubting God because they don't feel him. Okay, so it's very important to understand we are not called to feel God. We are called to believe God. We are not called to feel God. 
we are called to believe God. And the more we believe God, and the more we walk in fellowship with him, in spite of what we feel, the more he will reward us with his manifest presence. Because God is a faith God and only actions done in faith please him. Okay? Last note. I have felt God's presence in many ways in my lifetime. I have felt his presence during a high worship church service as well as being in my own home. I have felt God's presence even in the midst of something that was so important to me through the birth of my children, through marrying my best friend, uh, through being saved and truly following, started following him, and even through the death of my loved ones. I felt his presence. And some of you have as well. I have felt his presence because of my faith in the one who I know to be true. Jesus has never failed me, and on that promise, I believe in who he is, simply put. I'm going to leave you guys with this. My husband's favorite passage of scripture. I love this. Uh, Psalms 139, 7 through 14. It says, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I sell on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will ride me, hide me, excuse me, and the light becomes night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. For darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being you knit me together in my mother's womb verse 14 says i praise you because i am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful i know that full well so for those of you that has a, uh, an issue i call it that of uh, maybe not feeling god's presence check yourself first of all it's not about your feelings okay it's about knowing and believing who God is. Okay? It's about knowing and believing who God is. By faith. By faith, I know God, who he is in my life. By faith. I believe on him. I am I'm that one that diligently seek him. By faith. I trust who he is in my life. By faith. By faith, I, I know that he saved my soul one day. By faith. I've never seen his face, but I know who he is by faith. By faith, I know he has came into my life and have changed from what I used to be to where I am now. I'm still not where I need to be, but I'm a whole lot better than what I used to be by faith. By faith, by nothing else. Because I trust God and I know him to be who he said he is by faith. By faith. So I implore that to you, you guys. Make sure you understand that's not about whether or not at the moment that you need to feel God. Just trust God to who, for who he is. By faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. If I can't see it, I still trust God. When I talk to him, I believe he's going to do what, what he said. His promises are true. By faith. Okay, not by my feelings, not by your feelings. It's by my faith that I trust who he is. Let's pray. Gracious Father, we thank you so much for this time. Thank you for helping us to understand it's not about our feelings or whether we can feel you at the moment. We just trust you enough to know that you are who you say you are by our faith that we have in you. You teach us in your word that it is without faith, it is impossible to please you. But we want to make sure that our faith is intact. Does our faith get hit sometimes? Yes, it does. But when, when, when I feel like that my faith is getting hit, I still seek you, God, because I need for you to re rebuild me up in my faith. I, I never want to doubt you. You've done too much for me. I've seen you do some stuff in my life. So I recognize by faith 
You are who you say you are. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I trust you, God. My faith tells me who you are. And I thank you for doing a wonderful work in me. Now, God, we ask you to bless these who are listening. Bless those that maybe listen later on. Help them to understand it's not, once again, about how we feel or whether we feel you right now or we feel you later. It's by our trust and faith in you. Help them to seek you. Seek you diligently that you will be that rewarder as you promised us, for those of us who diligently seek you. Help us to understand that we continue to have to seek after you by reading your word, by spending time with you, by meditating with you. To help us to understand that there's no way that we can even feel your presence with us if we're not spending time with you. So help us to do what we need to do in order to feel that true presence that we want to feel. God, we love you. We thank you so much for always being the center of our joy and the joy of our strength. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Uh, guys, don't forget, Thursday, my husband will be doing part two on lightening the load. Uh, this is Thursday for Bible study moment at 4 o'clock. Please join in with us on Thursday at 4 o'clock with Dr. Larry Black as he do part two of lightening the load. Always go back and you can review Facebook. Uh, we also have YouTube channel devoted uh to him you can uh, view this on youtube as well so please please but make sure if you don't mind as i always ask you to share this on your personal facebook page uh, so that others can also get a taste of what we're doing with devoted to him thank you guys so much keep lifting us up and i will let you know uh, whether or not i will be tuning in on next tuesday once again it is election day so i'm not sure if i will be tuning in uh, for a tuesday talk but i will let you know god bless you love you guys so much have a good one.